everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hello everybody, Boomer here, and welcome to another NHL 24 on EA Sports. As right now, this next matchup, as we're about to be seeing this next lineup of the team matchups in between. We've got the tough team in battle. And I'm Ducks are away to face against the other team in their home game to face against the Flyers of Philadelphia. As a courtesy of this all lineup, we have no super superstars this player for the X Factor players for the Flyers, but only one for the Anaheim Ducks. As we go over right towards from here, this courtesy lineup is going over with Trevor Zagras. Others we have is Troy Terry and John Gibson will be the starting goaltender for the Anaheim Ducks. On the other side of the Flyers is Carter Hart and Sean Katori, along with Travis Contini. Now, let's find out what Zagras has. He has a call with the stick him up ability with a skill shot. This ultimate Ely lacrosse move does the same thing just like Kakenemi does for his last game. But this was all it does turn out that he wants to do the same thing, just like he did. But this might be hard for him if he can try to stick it up right from his zone. It's also great to pick up a puck on the string, it's tricky zone, and third eye on his ability run. This will be a hard one to try to take him from here, but not to mention it might get tougher than you know. On the other side of the Flyers, Samuel Harrison will be the starting goaltender for the Philadelphia Flyers and Carter Park on the other side. Now, it's time to send you over to Wells Fargo Center. Standing by, I have this light bulb, along with the other player of the contestants, of Terry Crews, and the center ice is Son of Beast. I'll be back here with the with the three star players of the game and also with the ultimate of uh, the total summary of statistics of how they did with this matchup. Without further ado, here's your feature presentation of the NHL matchup. All for you guys, enjoy. Hello everybody, Lightbulb here, and right now we are at Philadelphia to see the Flyers as they are facing against the upper team of the Ducks, the mighty of the Ducks at Wells Fargo Center. It's great to be here in hockey in Philadelphia as we're about to get things started here, underway in Philadelphia. Let's do this. The time starts now. Here's Katuri. He will start with the puck right down here towards the other side, and now uh, it's tipping. On his way down is Katuri. He now gives it over again to Sahan. Sahan lost the puck right now as Carlson will have a puck in inbounding. Offense towards the Terry. Shot stopped again here by Sahan. And as right, right now, the starting goaltender will be Alex. Katuri will have his way down in the other side of the zone. Kick the puck out of here. York try to hold on. Lacombe will have it over again to foul. Carlson on his way down. Sam Hines still on him. Pressure to Terry. Stopped away here by the goaltender. He's tough on that move, but you can't just really tell that Lacombe is getting a lot of peace of it, and they're trying to like stay away from him. This tough offense is going right in between his own. It's quick by quick. Not believing on this. They're just trying to make that one feel like they are all good. Zagros goes down as right now Frost will have it back. Now the offense picking up again, run. Costney shot here, and the save that comes up here by Gibson. Walker right back down here to Simon, and now again to Walker. Looking over, it's Forrester. Forrester on his way down towards the back. And this one will no be a no penalty call on Philadelphia as they're on full pressure. Now offense finds Walker. Walker shot, and it's always stopped again here by the goaltender. Sam Hine, right to Costney. Shot! Went wide. Forrester now finds Constantine. Constantine finds again to Walker. Backhand! Release is stopped here by Josh Gibson. They're still keeping an eye on that string. They're never going to get away with this one. Then Hine back again. Now finds Forrester. Backhand with a shot! 
the first one takes the score for the Flyers. Forrester has his fourth goal of his game. The start of the Flyers zone, 1-0. Now this is what's never seen like this. Forrester had that one with the backhand shot. He makes that one in there. A tough releaseman to stay out in his net. But that uh, turned to be a, like a takeaway for him bound. That's a start to have it all. Flyers take the start here for a 1-0 with only 16.05 to go in the first period. And right now it's Gouda so on his way down. He now has it over again and now we'll pass it back over to Silverburn. Erson will take this first save here for tonight with only 15.51 to go. They are looking for another setup in the range to try to take over with this offense and then put it right the other way. And if you're all waiting for basketball, we're always waiting for the Sixers and the Lakers. This would be a fun matchup that we all love to have for. Yeah, I definitely want to see what's going on. We love to have this one here. Brink goes down and now it's Kateas with the puck. Faraby hit the goal poster outside of its net so soon and Walker will have to reset it again. You know, you can see what happens now. If he the goal poster too soon, he doesn't have the right target to go right from here. This is a hard settling. The puck flies over the net, and it goes out of play. This was never a joke. That takedown is a pressure here. They are just going right around it. They do not want to make that mess up in between. Now here's the win here as uh, Gudas with the puck and now goes again to Silverberg. We seen the last game as he was injured down and he got wiped out here for the first season and he got hit right here for the Hurricanes with the season. This was all that does happen right now and we, we're happy that enough to have it here that this was not a great day for him. They're just trying to make that one feel like he was out of the pressure of his own. This offense got him really that quick. We know that the first season was already been like Wiped out. He had to miss a whole game, and this was not a great day. And this is whatever happens right now. Because if you miss something, that's definitely what happens. You are still injured. You don't have that one to make that one right. That is why they're just trying to get that one away from it. They send Mule up right now, finding over it again to Belfer. As half away takes it over. Johnston will have the puck here right towards the other side of the offense zone. Anaheim on its way down into the Flyers' territory. It gets bangled down. Philadelphia with the puck in zone, now find Tippett. And we have a delay penalty call, as right now this will be a start up for the Anaheim Ducks. That will be Carterick. They'll have a boarding call with a smash collision. This offense can't make that one feel like it's going to able to hold on. That's a hard one. Not everybody's favorite, but this was all Doug's turn. Not a great choice. The Flyers will have to start with the first power play of the night. As right now, with this only 12.32 to go. Now with the win, here's for the Leibushkin. He will fly out for the territory, and now into the, into the Flyers' territory. Deep pass to Kateks. It says right towards his right, right side of the way. Here's Frost. Shot stop! That blocked it up here with a save made by uh, Gibson. Katavish keeps the puck alive as Sandham will have it over now to Katavish. Back again to Sandheim. Now finds Atkinson. Don't have the right way to go as right now McTavish will have the puck in bound. Close the gap out as Atkinson will have it over to Forrester. Now here's said Hine, he will have it right away. Fires around in it. Katez with the shot. Chopping it in! And it's blocked away right down here towards the backside. Katez right over again to Forrester. Gudas will have the puck away here for And now back again is Tippett. 40 seconds for that Flyers power play, and it's right now it goes right behind your net. They will have their new changeups here as right now said Hine gives it over now to Tippett. Tippett in the corner. Looks away. Hit off the skater as right now Gudas will have it his own way. Looks like he's getting it out there and back on ice. The power play is over. As right now the Flyers have their first chance with the power play, but it comes up empty handed. The short range was not really just a way, but they're just trying to make that one feel like it's very hard. 
But that is a tough one, and they are trying to get away with this. If this offense didn't really carry it out, they're just going to need to make that one feel like they're on a fullback. Here's great shot, and a stop by Josh Gibson. Great stop in the poke views here as Ryan and the goaltender on the Anaheim Ducks is really onto a full steam. Pressure it is. You don't want to make that one feel like it's uncomfortable. Carlson with the puck as right now he will have it over. York swings down to Lacte. Fire right around the net. Consney finds again to Hathaway. Back and shot. Hold up with the pad as right now it's Gibson with a number save. A 40 left to remain in the first period. Terry on his way down. Tries to make it forward. Carlson on his way down. Halfway takes it over with the puck tape. Lafton tries to lift off again to Halfway. Halfway lost the puck. Can't find an open man range. And that penalty will be called on, on Belpezzo with the trip. Alpedio right in the penalty box. As Anaheim will take their first power play with just a little free to go. We have a cross in between as Trevor Zagros has it all. We have Centipede standing by. Trevor Zagros is only a man with the skill of challenge. His power play technique may be uh, on his intentional run, but this is not where it does happen. We are just finding out what he can do. Sean Katuri is getting a lot of his superstar ability, but this is how it does happen. We're trying to see how well he does if he gets his offense in. These are the top two of the play rankings in between. I'll be keeping an eye on one of them, and we'll try to find out what happens then. Back to you guys. Sierra now finds Atkinson. With a short-handed, Katuri he lost the puck at that time as Strom will have him back. Carlson on his way down with a move around. Stop by again by, by Erson. Good defensive tackle as Kateri will have it right back in again. In the corner, can't get away with that. Trying to look for the shorthanded once as right now Sealer has it back. Open look to York. That pass is bumbled down. Strom on his way down to the uh, on the right side of the way. Now finds Carlson. That's blocked up by Hathaway. And Curio blocked up by Erson. That will hold it with only 6-11 to go in the first period. They're just trying to make that win stay out. Both teams set. Flyers start with a 1-0 lead in 6-11 to go in Wells Fargo. Here's a win as for Toronto. Did not have the right way. That backhand just went out of reach. The power play is over right now as it goes back the other way for the Flyers in even strength. They're a pretty good in offense. They just need to get this one a lot, a lot of take. Not to worry. They're just making that one there look clean. They want to get that one all down. That high shot right over the net as Constantine has recovered. Walker now finds Forrester. Walker back the other way. The full steam is on, and it carries away. The Tavis has it over right down here, right around the net. Passes to Vetrano. Silverberg right into the right way. Anaheim will have his pressure with the puck settling, and right over to Fowler. Fowler right his way down. And it's put back in. Oh, that's a stop made by Ersting. Hold that glove. Take it away big. Walker takes it over. This is a lot of heavy motion on the offense right now as the defenders are getting away with this. Yeah, it's not what everyone does. They just have to, like, leave it open. Not get away with it. Walker, big save here again, goes up by Gibson. Carway. In corner now, trying to hold it out. The Flyers will take their group on the offense zone, now give him over again to DeLorence. The Slorus now find Lefton. Now gives this set high. Try to make this connection work. Leeson has it over into the neutral space off zone, now into the, the Flyers territory. Fucking battling, and now recovered again. Can't make the open connection work. And that will be icing whistled on Philadelphia with only 2.34 right to remain. 
still a lot of time left in this frame. Flyers take their one nothing lead in the first period with only 2.44 left to go. Vicario! Urson stops again. Now Sam Pine will have it over now to Hathaway. Off his way across right now, it's his Laura Sauce. That won't get away with this. Crosser now finds Makuya. Hathaway right towards the outside of his arm. Walker. Trying to make a move. Backhand. Oh, got a great slip. But Gibson got a good stop. This is whatever happens. You make a cross check move, you just make that one a crossover move. That's a big hard one to try and go by. Ready for another face off? It's a still one nothing lead for the Flyers. They're still now making a transition to make that win. After a winning face off, here's Akanishin now finds Walker. Walker shot. Shot went too wide as Akensin will have it back to Semula. Semula, Akensin to Walker. A lot of changing in passes back and bound, not finding again to Atkinson. Atkinson now finds a Couture. Looks it over. A lot of pass in between, just one minute remaining in the first. Couture lost that puck and Terry will have it back. Full pressure is over as Lyon will have the puck back. And delay penalty has been called on Philadelphia with just 25 seconds. They're not going to get away with this. They just do not like that. This offense is putting up too much on it. They can't get away with that. This stripping call will be called on Tippett. Right now he's in a penalty box with just only 34 seconds. Power play is on for the Anaheim Ducks. And they're looking for a time run. Major penalty kill here for the Philadelphia Flyers as the Anaheim Ducks are on in their power play run to tie it up. The win for Anaheim. That shot too wide. Silverberg fighting it and they have it back. Fowler will have his first goal and it's tied up by one. They're not easy enough. Good pass by Silverberg and this is what Fowler does. He just came in and he says, wide open net, here I go. And this is where this connection works. One, two, and three. Towards the right. When Erson didn't see where it was going, this is was nowhere luck. That's what happens. He just can't get enough to go. Flyers and the Ducks are tied up by one with just only six seconds to go. And Gudas will have that puck. In transition, tries to put it back, and Matrano will hold the puck in. So that ends the first period. It's tied up. We'll be right back after this. And we are back. Wells Fargo Center is the only place to be here in Philadelphia. And we're ready to start off for the second period. The early start run turns to be a 1-1 game, as right now it's all tied up with Tippett and their team over by Zagros. Let's start with your take here, Terry, of how that power play comes in for the Anaheim Ducks with that tie game. This run was turning like it's a legit. They got a great move, and this is a section. Go here, go there, make that connection work. This is what happens now. That game changer has been planning it out, just like in, in a rider on its edge. They just do not want to make that one feel like it's bad on the outside. But this offense turned out it was legit. They've done a lot of them, and they are trying to move it out of the way. They like that, and they want it. Here's Sam Hine with the puck, with the backhand shot, and it's over again by Josh Gibson. Fowler right now to get him to with only 18-13 to go. He lost that puck, and Sam Hine gives it back to Counter. Couture flings around a net. Forrester, back to Couture. Too many bodies in a way, and it's Ryan Stroh with the puck. Lacombe has that one right towards in the center, and now finds Stroh. Stroh now finding Fowler. Fowler on his way down, trying to move her across. His offense keeps it on going. Try shot, Harrison save. Forrester now finds Walker. Walker finds Frost. On his way down with the pass to Forrester. Lost that puck move as Stroh takes it away. It's not great with the offense. They are just losing that puck every time. But this is nowhere outside. They're trying to make him awake. But they do not want to leave him behind. 
This offense can't get enough to go. But Trana with the puck and now find Strobe on his way down in the offensive zone. Now find McTavish. Now find Maturna shot. That's Erson with another huge save. Philadelphia back in the offensive zone. Farabi now finding Zamula. The Flyers regain their group in the, the offense and now goes find to Kateas. Kateas now finding in. Farabi shot it. Good save made by Gibson. As Sealer has it away. Down again to Beldi Pereo. Belpedio shot. Nowhere luck. Minglikov to Stroh. Back to Jones. Now looks to Minglikov. Mitchell right into the right wing and now finds Henry. That's up, saved again. He finds Farby. Farby tries to move it around and Henry, and Henry Q has it back. Takes a front pusher and back again to Sealer. This is what offense does. They just can't get enough to go around it. That duck took out the flyer tip duck throw down. Henry Kuk back over it again, now finding Silverberg. Silverberg right into the center. The offense look, and a driving spin up, but stopped by Anderson. Lockton finding again the sealer. Looks down to Desloros. Desloros lost in that puck, but still holds on. They just can't get away with it. Now finds Johnston on his way down, looking for an open pass play. Try to move around. Good stop by Urson. This is a tubby takedown. Nobody got that one out of the way. Takes that puck badly down again. Now here's Johnston. He has that puck with only 12.33 left to remain in the first, second period of the game. Constantly finding again to Katuri. Settles down. Karak with the puck. Fires away and Erickson gloves it up. Well, with four left to remain in the second period, it is still a tie game. They still need to find open luck. Both teams are really hot in trouble. It's still a tie game, looking for their next goal to take the lead. Now the win for the Flyers. Forrester lost that puck as the grass takes it back. Tries to roll it back. In its offense zone, try to pick up another run, and here's Frost. Frost lost that puck. Looks now to Fowler. Looks at Lacombe. To Carlson. Good deflection on Frost as it goes back the other way. Hold that thought. It's Urson with a big save. And Constantine with the back. This offense can't get away with this one. They're just getting all right around it. They said, here you go. Take that. Here's Terry. Finding Carlson right towards the back of the side. It's still not enough way to get right back. Erickson holds that putt. Just 10 40 to go in the second period. They still need to get that one practice. They really need to find somebody. Here's a win as right now they're coming up. Ryan Fowler. That's great block. That's a brick on a stick. This is a lot of hard takedown out there. They're just going everywhere. Gibson with the box puck stop. That's right now he will hold the cover the puck. Just down to a midway mark in the period as we're getting closer right there and there. It's still a tie game and they're still looking to get enough one to get it down. Strome with the puck and moves it around over to Lacombe. Lacombe with the puck right towards the out, over outside. Erickson takes a glove away. And Brink out of that. Petrano! Ooh, got a little stop out of it. Farby finds Kateas. And Farby will have to give it back. Philadelphia still in control. Ben still another block pass. Strong takes it over. Farby on his way down. Tries to move the puck. Zambia takes it over. Another one takes finding the Katori. The Anaheim Ducks are back into the offense zone with 8.35 left to remain. Deep pass to Jones. Blocks the zone. Now finds Katori. McTavish with the buck. Tippett has it recovered. Now back the other way as Katori in the side. 
Towards the zone. Puck loose out of the zone. As Atkinson will have it over again. This offense is not going well. It's not smooth enough when they are just trying to make that one get away with this. You know, this is what happens. They're just trying to make that one feel like they're out of the zone. They can't find anybody. Seal with the puck with only 7.18 to go. And now it goes back over to Lacton. Now finds Solaris. The Solaris shoots and fires. And Gibson saves me again with another shot. Shot and blocked. The Ducks carry their offense zone. Now swinging the puck. The Flyers have their regroup in the offense. Now back to their strength. And left hand goes into neutral in the offensive zone. It goes for offside. Flyers and Ducks ready for our faceoff in the neutral faceoff zone. It's still a tie game. Make the win. Here's McDuckerkopf. The Solaris back now again to Senheim. Senheim lost that puck as Agras takes his turnover. There's nowhere to go. This offense is getting away with that, and this is not how it's going to settle down. This is whatever happens, they can't get away with this. Take the smash down for Lafton as Midlodok trying to get away with this. Senheim rolling it back again. Frost finds out the Forester. Forrester now finding again to Constantine. Constantine's on the shot with a rebound. That's been stopped by here by Rebecca. Carlson now finding Gudas. Five minutes remaining in the second period, and they're still trying to give up. But they're not quitting here as Terry still trying to leave it alone. Here's the garage with the puck. Shot stopped again by Erson. There's still another way to get down here again. And Erson got a big save to keep it away from it. This is getting good. Urson's getting given up in the first period, but he says, no, 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 I'm still living it. Gibson will have the puck here with only 4.07 left to remain in the second period. It's still a tight game. A long wait for a while, looking for a leadoff in between the two in the East Coast and West Coast. Now with the win, here's Gudas. Gudas finds Johnson. Johnson looking over again to Leeson. Placing on his way down, flings it away. The Philadelphia Flyers as Katori will have it again to Atkinson. Across the line is Katori. Tries to make a move, but it's closed up. Good defensive setup here for the Anaheim Ducks as they're trying to fly back in. Johnson! Good stop here as right now Urson still getting away with this. There's no way to make that one feel work. Lacombe finds McTavish. Shot! And it goes back in deep bounds. That puts a lead up for the run. McTavish with 20 goals in this game. Gets a good lead off run for the Ducks. Now, I did not even expect it. This is what does happen. It just get around it. And it just hit off the blade towards the back. What well, you can't just really say it was. It got a great pass. Great shot for McTavish. I mean, that's a firearm. I love it when this happens like that. You're just trying to get this thing done, and it says, hey, you want to do it? Go for it. Right now, here's Vetrano with the buckets. Right now, he's still trying to give that one up. Sticking the tie up. Right now, back in the outside. McTavish shot. Rinks takes it back. That's 20 goals in this game. As far as we'll leave it behind. Gibson will try to leave it here with only 2.14 left in the second period. The Flyers and the Ducks are still remaining behind. Now here's a win as Fowler will have it back. Katez with the puck. Looks inside his own. Oh, one timer got stopped there by the nine by Gibson. We are under two minutes remaining in the second period. It's a close shot. This range is like already been turning out there big, but they really need to get that one out there. That's a good look, but not enough to beat that goaltender. Now the win for the Flyers is right now goes in, but it's taken away. They're back now to tie it. Farby has that goal. It just went in towards the net, and they count for a signal. They just need to be out there. 
for one timer and just push it in, push the goaltender and this is whatever happens. You see what happens? It goes right in. That was tough. Nothing got him away with this. I have that replay because of Farabi has that one with the goal. This offense is not going with a lot of strength. They're just saying we have to push it in there and I gotta figure it out if I can do that. And Farabi did knew that he was gonna make that one in there to try to stop their run. This was hard to maintain it, folks, but this is not how it's easy enough. When they're trying to make that squeeze in, we're gonna need that one to make that setup more playful and, uh, and helpful to go win it. Kateas, shot stopped again by Gibson. Just one minute remaining in the second period, as right now it's Brink. Kateas with the puck shots. Matrana lost the puck. Farley trying to attack it. Taking the battle for the loose puck, and we put down it is Forster. Now finds York now again to Sanheim. And I am back again to York. Stick lifted as Forster back again to Sanheim. He finds Farley. Lifts it away, and it's stopped away. Stopped again. Fowler finds Strong, and that will be out of luck. And that ends the second period. A great stop settle. Barbie comes back. We'll get ready for the next period when we come back after the break. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the NHL on EA Sports. Are you ready? It's that time as right now we step into the third period to finish this game, and we are set. Well, it has been a tight matchup, and we are looking for its leadoff game to have that one off. We're trying to find out who will take it. Let's find out what happens. The win for Ducks or for a win for the Flyers. You will never know how this will turn out. Here's a cross. He will have it back over again to Carlson. Carlson now finds the follower, and now finding Lacombe. Lacombe finds Carlson, inside his own! Pat is stopped again here by Ertzig. Ducks are in a full pressure, Steve. Couture will have to carry the puck out of here. And now here comes the cross. He finds Carlson, blocked, shot, stopped away here by the goaltender. It's because they're getting keeping, going back in. They're trying to make the pressure a lot. This pressuring is not easy enough. They just really need to get out of here. They don't want to get trapped up behind. They do not want to leave it alone. It's a lot of big saves for Urson. He's a tough one. The Flyers and the Ducks are still continuing to battle here in the third period. It's still a tie game. They're looking to get an our one. Here's a comb. They're trying to get over this, and a good shot blocked by the Flyers zone. Another stop made by the goaltender. Now, here's Couture. He will have his puck in the offensive zone. Now, he's on his way down to Atkinson. Looks to Semhan, and now York. York again to Semhan. Shot blocked away by Strong. Trying to move it around him. Here's a lovely man, and this one is knocked out. That shot went too wide, and it goes right back to Katura. Katura finding again to Atkinson. Here's Tiffin. Vetrano with the puck takeaway. Looks his own. Ten Hine got him blocked out. He's still keeping an eye on him. They need to have that one out of the way. They don't want to make that pressure feel like it's worse. Tip it on his way down, and Atkinson with the puck. Settling in a bound, it goes back to Sennheim. Flyers making a new change off in the passing zone. They're still meeting on open. Atkinson now gets the walker, and now Sennheim. He moves around, shot, stopped right again by Gibson. Atkinson to Sennheim, shot, blocked away, Gibson got it back. Just 15.34 left to go in the third period. It's still a tie game, looking for a leadoff to take it all away. Now here's another win for Anaheim Ducks as they are back into their offensive strength. Terry finds Leibushkin and now finds Carlson. Carlson steps it in. Good stop by the defensive plate downs. Costney lost that puck settling and Leibushkin on his way down, loved by Erson. 
This is not what everyone does. They're just breaking that one, get it out of here. All time moving out there. They just need to get this one all alone. They do not want to let that leave it out with a with the empty room to make that one feel like it is out of the way. That it was all took. No question will be taken away from it if they know how to get that back. The pass and it's disconnected. It now goes back the other way as Walker will try to reset it. Flyers still not finding a lot of percentage of this passing zone. Buckhead in right over again to the grass. The grass gets swiped down, and this night now it's Farby now over again to Brink. Here comes the pass. Farby shot. One timing has been taken away by Gibson. Gibson shot right now again and over now to Henrik. Farby trying to hold up with the battle takedown, and now it's the Flyers full pressure. Takes it away, hold it back now, as it's another stop by Leibushkin, and Jones have it back. You know this is a tough one, it's offense is going quick. Not a way to make that one feel like they've done it, but they are trying to leave it out. Not the better way to do this, but they are just trying to get that one cleared out. Jones with the puck, and now Brian Hendriku shot away, and it's Katez with the puck. He's on his way down. Pet the pass, Farabee, shot stopped by Gibson. He now finds Emerson now over again to Peldio. Palpedio shot, another way to make that one stop again by the goaltender. McTavish with the puck. Looks over again to McKinnon. Looks now finding Brink, and now we'll have to leave it back again. Zami Love with the puck in zone, now in for the Flyers. Get past the Dessars. Without leaving offside, here's Vetrano. Tries to make the move, time of shot! And he got great skills at it, he has two in his game. Well, this is what everyone does. When McTavish has it all down, he just made that one puck on straight. That was easy. He just got way around it, and he just like did, like McKinnon does. You can see what McTavish is doing. He just went around the backhand and says, I'm around it, here I did. And that's what definitely did turn out. They're getting away with that. Anaheim Ducks are the best teams in the West Cup during conference. They're just making that one. They've lost two games in a row against the against the Kern Canes and against the other team of the Predators. And it's their 30th anniversary for the Anaheim Ducks. Here's Lacton shot. Stopped away by Gibson. 10-17 left to remain in the third period. As right now they are getting ready to make another faceoff into their attacking zone. The Flyers wins the faceoff. Galpedio shot. Hit it away with too soon as Lacton gives it over to Yenazila. And they're on full steam. Galpedio back in. That still keeps it on. Zila will have to make some a little bit more room with a time adjustment passing the midway mark of the period. Halfway lost the puck. Retrano has it back. Stop in the big way. Another huge stop comes in for the for Ursin. Carrick now finds Lisa. Lisa right towards the center and it tries to take him over. And this offense is not going to get away with this as Ursin has it grabbed in the puck. We are under nine minutes remaining in the third period and they are still need to get back into this offense. Mm -hmm. They still need to get this one back down. Here's the win as the Kobe will have it away. That's deflected and a shot blocked has been denied. Ersen stopped away. And now Coxley will have his way down. He's on a full pressure run. Looks it over. Some high back to York. Gives back to say high, try to hit the sink. And Gibson caught him with the target. Right now with AO9 remaining in the third period, they still need to get this one back in the game before heading into overtime. Well, it's a good way. You just gotta keep moving the puck around and you don't wanna miss that one out. You just need to get away with this. Now with the win, here's some high, now over again to Atkinson. Atkinson! Oh, that was too close. He just did not see what the puck was out there. 
If this would have been in a crease set, the crease crasher would have released today. Yeah, it would have been met just right, but it's not really enough to get to get there in time. Here now finds Tippett. Tippett shot, stopped away here by again by Gibson. Johnson gives over to Carwick. 7-10 remaining. And now Belpedo takes a smash down and Tippett gives it back. But that turns it over to Terry. Tippett still holding it on. Here comes Corsu and Terry takes it back. Here's the cross back the other way and it's still now on with the pressure run. Smashes across here for the wall. Flyers gains it back into the offensive zone and they're still picking up the steam. Couture with the puck. Here's the pass. The sailor shot. Gibson. Oh man, he is that good. And he has gotten great setups tangled. He's going all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely what everyone's favorite. He's still keeping a bit. We are under six minutes remaining as right now they are getting back in and trying to keep him out the timing to make the distance go right. Here's five back down. Terry is on his way into the center of the ice zone. Looks to Carlson. Carlson now finds the comb, and now Fowler will have it. Takes it over. Big setup change as Harrison makes a stop. The grass! Pumped it up by, by Harrison. Here's Carlson. He will hop the puck is right away down into the end zone. And the grass takes it back. Here's Lacombe, we'll have a buck. Settled over to Carlson. Poked it away, good stop out of Flyers. Jones still has it back before three left to go, as Lacombe gives to Carlson. Popped it lift away, as Erickson gives off the break. He gives off the Katanz. One-on-one -on -one and face off an attacker. Trying to move again. Oh, Gibson! What a huge save. He's already been saying it's getting better and better. York on his way down with the spin move. Ankle break it. He scores! We are tied. Oh my, the back to back run from Philly to Anaheim. And Anaheim to Philly. They're just going back to crazy scores as Ken York has got ankle break it. You know, this is what happens. He made that spin round and he just said, watch this. And he does it. He just got it back. What a close game this is. Well, this is all what does happen as Cam York does it all down as Noah, Noah Cortez just had to relieve him. And when Cam does it, he just made that one feel like he's on ice. He just made that one gotten great setup chain and he has it all down. As far as he has never ever heard of him and how does he make that one feel on, on his good string, he's going to get that or that one close. We'll see if the next game comes into a lead or go to overtime. Back to you guys. Here's Sahan. He will have it over again to York. He now over it again to Sahan. Sahan shot. Blocked away as Mankukov will have it away. Here's Katora with the puck and now back again to Sahan. Diagonal pass to Kek uh, Atkinson. Behind the net. Now the York. No penalty on a gimbal. Jones lost the puck. His tepid. Now again to set high, and now it was only two minutes remaining in the third period. Carries it deeper around the net. Couture with the puck. Fires! Gibson save. Just a minute and 45 to go in the third period. We are still need to get this one back in straight. Here's the call at centerpiece, stands by. Trevor Sabras has gotten really good at his setup. This angle, I have a lot of great feelings of him. He's an excellent player. He just got a great offense of his set. Hopefully his turnout will be on his dream time. The cross, great stop by Walker. As he has that block shot, he denies it with that one. That's when you know this. Walker giving a big here. Fires around the net. We are down to a last minute remaining in the third period. Will it be a win or will it be overtime? You will never know how this will happen for the second time in the season. Walker gives back to Zamla. Zamla shot blocked by Gibson. Just holding with just only 41 seconds. 
and their team is ready to get up loud in Philly. The next game will happen, another matchup. The Canadian team versus the USA team that's now in Dallas. As we see the Canadians facing against the Stars for their next, their next weekend's game. As we might be seeing what's going to happen right now if the Canadians win it or not. They may just have to say is they're going to get away with that one. Well, I hope there is. And now they're going to need to get the time down. And now here's the try now. He will have it fucking back. McTavish and their team is going to overtime. That ends the regulation. It's all for York. A biggest hit? This was a crazy game. We'll find out when this next goal comes in after this break. Here's how we look at the team stats. This is what definitely does turn out right between those two. As we are looking right towards again here from Anaheim Ducks, Mesa Mektovich has that one with two goals, five shots, and had, and had one minute with the plus and minus right in between. On the other side of Noah's, Noah Cates, he only had two assists, two shots, and had two minutes in this game. It was all that does happen with two plus and the minus is kind of like an overall in, in between. Over the rating and under the rating. We're just seeing what's going to happen with this one. The next school appears, they're trying to file it in between. This team status is getting a lot much harder, but they are getting away with this. Yeah, it's pretty much a it's courtesy of this one. That was nowhere that they were trying to make that one. Only Fowler and McTavish had that goals right in between. That's four goals that turned it out to make that one an easier look for the last game. But only two, three goals in this season's game, it just went out there big. This offense could not be that easy enough if they were trying to get out of here and then try to take them back. This is what the offense is really pressuring in. Well, as for right now, on the other side of the Flyers zone, we are spotting a lot of, a lot of targets for Leesman. Only Farby and, and Forrester had that one with the goal, and York with three goals. This is what nobody has ever seen of what was going to happen like that. And now, this part of the next game is going to happen with another final play in overtime. We seen the last game as this overtime was trying to be over with the Red Wings and the Hurricanes. That was the last part of the season of the game. And they've already been turning out just the biggest time of the day. And toward the day, I mean, who's going to make that one next? What is your call, Terry? Well, I may just have to say that the Ducks are really off to a, off to a bad place position. I'm thinking this one's going to be a next major win. If they're going to get this one done, they're going to get that one right away and then have that hard time with going from safe. And for this one, it's going to be a lot that harder than challenging. As right now we have Son of Beast standing by, who do you have your take? Well, I'm pretty sure that this was a lot of that hard. I've been able to talk to one of my head coaches. This is a lot of a hard step. And their team has been saying, you have the right to do this. You do not take over them. You have to find a man, and you've got to step forward. It. Pick him up, find who you got, and don't let him pressure it. This losing of offense is losing it quickly, and we are all in trouble. The Flyers part of the head coach is definitely trying, trying to change things up. We're trying to make them see what was going to happen. And for the Ducks, this is what happens right now. The has got a great a little bit of a conversation in between for the other players. We're just trying to make them feel out how their play went. They're going to feel like, okay, well, <laughs> we might be seeing what was going to happen right now. And hopefully on that occasion, John Gibson just really got a great feelings. And he said, I've got good feelings right now. I think this season should be better enough to have it all because the last two seasons got worse. Because that might be a tough changeable, but they're going to have to get out of here. And I'm thinking the third one should be me to have that stop. All right, thank you so much, sir. Here at Son of Peace, and we're hoping to see what's going to happen for the next game. Thanks, guys. You two are safe. The Silver Time game is. It is right now, it is, been, it is brought to you part by your ultimate of the, of the local tri-state dealer of, of the ultimate of the game. As for this one more time, for this season, 
This one is the alt setup here as we are seeing right by. It's been presented by Discover. As we are mentioning, we are seeing what this game's about. Let's find what is the overtime going to be, and let's find out what happens. Here we go. Let's get in to this ice. And overtime starts now. And we are ready. Fowlers and the team are on to a start. Let's get started. With a shot, start away here from Erson with the save. As right now, it's been a courtesy lineup to make that change. Well, let's see how they do, because this is not what everybody does. This offense can be a harsh thing, but not to worry. They're going to make that one feel like they're on a good heat. The puck clears out of the zone, as right now, York will have it all. Passes to Qatar with the new line man defenseman. New changes right now as Victoria gives it off. Here's York! Oh, that Gibson got a good piece of it to keep it out of the net. Terry takes it over with only 3.44 to go. The Fowler. The Ducks try to have able to make their transition to go back in between. Here it goes, and the puck loses it. Back into the uh, Ducks territory. And now back to the offense. Far, we will have to clear it out and we'll reset it give her the offensive zone. Now we'll take his time right down here to York. Here's Farby shot and Gibson got that one to take him out. But Terry trying to pick it over, finds Harvey, and a shot stopped again. And here's Katori back again with only 2.15 left to go. Back passes again to St. Hines. We'll try to reset it here as they are need to meet the Mel. Number offensive run, they need to still try to find it. Katori, find Kirby shot. Lost that one here again as they are trying to put it back. No offense has gotten great of it. This user skills for Gibson, he has gotten good. Very stop by Harrison. And now it's Sam Pine with the puck. Let's find Kirby deep pass. He's alone, Sam Hine, away. And it's right now Gibson with the same. We are down to a minute in a in a overtime period, and now it goes right to Farby for the first game of this season. Here's him alone. Oh, Gibson had that one. I said hello. And Kyle Cup right over the way. I'm on his way down to a pressure. Not enough to take advantage. Farby. Lost that puck. Vetrano with the puck inbounding. Still not getting away with this. Just final seconds left. Will he have time? No, he still won't. Here's a look for the box scores in between from each period. Now it looks like we're ready to get to the shootout as a major happily ever after as we have just spotted on. After a major technical difficulty, we are so sorry, but um, but hopefully you didn't miss on anything because still got lucky because um, with this issue, we couldn't be more efficient than that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> tough one, everybody has been noticing about that. It's a little bit too much that I'll be going on, but you know, you know what I'm talking about there? <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. Because right now it's been turning it a little, well, too much in between, but we're finding out how good it is now. Well, in between right now, I think the shootout is now ready to get going. All right, I think we are all set to go. As right now, it's still continued by Discover. As right now, we're about to be finding out what is the major difference here. Let's find out what happens with the shootout. Here we go. Here's where we're starting things off for the Ducks. As so right now we have is the draws. And here we go. First up, McTavish. Looks his way down and we'll have the big stop. And the same thing comes there by Erson. Well, this timing is just not always that bigger and strong enough, but they are ready to get this one done. Ross ready to get this thing going and he's off. Tries to move it around. With the move, 
stop and save me by Gibson. It's not what easy it does. They're just getting away with this one too soon. Second lineup ready to go. Here comes Carlson. Carlson lost that one away down here with a big save. And right now on the other way, ready for another one. In the Flyers we have is Consney, the superstar player, and he's up and ready to take. Let's see what he does. Takes his left with the move around shot, and he scores! His percentage got in the way with the corner. His release didn't turn out just what it does. And when he does now, he just went right around it, showed the trick. Now Zagros needs to tie this game. Will he have it all? Yes, he will. The game still goes on as Trevor Zagros has that goal and it goes right around it. Yeah, you notice when, when this happens before, he just made that all skill. Puck on strain, it just went right towards the middle. That's what the gap does. Now the Flyers are back in the offensive zone and here we are. Here comes Farby. He has two goals. Looks to get another one. Will he get more? And no, he will not. Gibson has that save and he will takes it all. The next one comes in and hits Terry. Will it be more room? And they get it back. He was all alone in this game and they are trying to get back into work. You know this offense has gotten pretty alone. And that's what the goaltend is. He just went right across it. Just what happens before you see the last game here, just like Terabina does. And now they need to tie this game up. Will they have some lucky ones to take? Here it comes Tippin. Will he get there in time? And he will have it back. Oh, and Tippett just say it's, I, it's not done yet. He stopped here right toward the middle, and he just went right around it. He's got a best choice. Now back in the tying position right now, the Ducks are back in. Here comes Ryan Strom, he's up. In front of left, and just had two time kicks. He just had that goal, and he just goes with the tick off. This run motion turned to be like a sidestep. Nobody has ever done that one here before, and they are going like in between the zones. This action play just to have it right. Now the Flyers are back in the offensive zone, ready to take another one. Here comes Lafton, and he was ready to get this thing going. Will he get another one? They need to get it back. Will he have it? And it's over. Anaheim Ducks wins in overtime as Ryan Strome and their team of Gibson has a, a remarkable save and has it done. This whatever happens, they just make that one win. That's what all turns out to shut out the Flyers. They made their first wins of the game after two season loss. They are back with a win. As for being said right now, it has been a presentation, a longest night. We hope you enjoy this game. Now time for a free star players. We go right to Boomer. Our light bulb is out. See you next time. All right, thank you so much. That's right now, first star player goes to Arison with a save right now in this game. The second star goes to Noah Katez with a two assists and four gets. He just had that on a great setup. And your first star player, Mason McTavish with two goals and three hits. They have just been crushing around it in between in regular periods, and now they finally dug it out. This was the hardest matchup in between that we were seeing it before, and they were never seeing it like this was a rival almost out of here. But the most rival thing in common was the Pittsburgh Showdown by Pittsburgh Pens and the Flyers. That was all just turned out that they really are just making that one settle in and right between the hits. The zone is really impossible, but this was not all it does turn out what they were going for. So that is it, and here are the total combinations of how they did. 49 over 48 shots on goal for Philadelphia. 68 over 38 for Anaheim. 1302 for the Flyers over Anaheim. 90 percentage passing over 83. 26 face-off wins for Anaheim over 7 for Philadelphia. The penalty kill was only 4 minutes for Philadelphia and 2 for Anaheim. Their power play minute was 2 of 6 and they have their first power play goal for the Anaheim Ducks. And they have that one 
they just came back and finally had that answer. Took out the Flyers. This was the best day that they have ever been going through. And that will do it. So if you enjoyed this game, we have your next matchup coming soon for your next one. The Stars and the Canadians at American Airlines Center. There might be a face-off to make the fact, but there might be one way that they're going to make that one go down to a hit shot on deck. We don't know what will it be, so you'll have to stay tuned for your next game. And just keep your eyes steady here. With, with uh, Terry Crews and Lightbulb and Son of Beast, I am Boomer. You can follow him on his social media, on Instagram, X, and TikTok. Links are on the about page, and we will find out more soon for the next matchup of the NHL and the NBA. Plus, and also an event new for this season, we will find out what turns out. So if you enjoyed it, please like it, subscribe it, and follow, just like I said earlier before, on the media. Don't forget to post a comment if you have any recommendation and hit the notification bell so you, up, so you stay up to date and it's the best way to support for this channel. Anyways, have a great night everybody and I will see you all again next time. For a while as the NHL 24 dial. Have a great night in Philadelphia. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.